Because the Mashiach Gavra Shai had known the servant of the world falsely called Jesus Christ don't love everybody either. Read this. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1. Right. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. That's right. We say, hey, stand up. You stand up for what you believe. Just regurgitate something that somebody told you. I'm tired of that, man. Everybody just standing for up and they just, we just talk about whatever you think you know. Right. Right? That's right. You know? We the church. The people are the church. Right. Most of don't dwell in no temples made with hands. My shot got a shot in order to say was out and we're dealing with multitudes. He goes up from the temple on the Sabbath sometimes, or the time that Israel was together, but he was speaking in the multitudes. In the gaps, man, the, right there where the people could hear the truth. Multitudes and multitudes. Really. But the righteous are bold as a lion. Read up on the top. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. But the righteous are bold as a lion. That's right. Proverbs 29 and 2. So, this is our problem, man. A lot of what we've been taught, a whole lot of what we've been taught is lies. So when you hear the truth, it's like, we're, we're the real brothers that's willing to stand up for the truth. Right. You know? We're the real brothers that's willing to stand for what they believe in as the truth, and not just for yourself. This world got you, so all you're doing is following whatever you feel is okay. And it's getting ready to be destroyed. Right. It's getting ready to be destroyed. Where are you going to be at then? Read that. Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Yeah, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Ain't nobody rejoicing. They don't, I don't see no, nobody running around here happy as ever. So when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, read. Right? But when the wicked bear rule. But when the wicked bear rule, like they bear rule now, read. Right? The people mourn. The people mourn. Job 9, 24. Because the wicked is ruling, regardless of how you look at it. The wicked is ruling. That's why it's, we in girls and slums, the last high, don't know where we coming or going. We in bad shape as a people. But everybody standing up for us? Who's standing up for us? Where? Jesse Jackson, Al Shopton, who? Who is it that's really standing up for us as a people? Telling us we got next. We gonna rule this baby forever and ever and ever. And get yourself right, repent, and come back to the laws of the Most High. Now you taught you not under the laws of the Most High. You are in the mercy and grace. Come on, what you need mercy and grace? You really need mercy and grace because you really sinning and sinning and sinning. You had to sin on top of sin, right? Right. You really need mercy and grace. And the mercy and grace is to you, but it ain't to you if you wicked. Right. And you're not, you're saying point blank, when you say you're not under the law, you're saying, I don't have to follow the most high. The hell with the most high. That's what you're saying when you say you don't have to follow him. He took the time to give us 613 laws. Moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial laws. Now you're going to say it's just going to throw it out the window? I don't think so. This is what, this is what the preachers are setting you up for. Get up, Matthew 5 and 19. All these preachers are telling you that you're not under the law and that you're a Gentile? Hey, you got a minute, you need to come and listen if you're not in a hurry because they're lying to you. Read that. Matthew chapter 5, verse 19. Come on, bring it on. Which law therefore shall break one of these least commandments? The least commandments was the least law. Read. And shall teach men so. And teach men so. Read. He shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. That's setting you up to go to hell. Straight up. No matter how you look at it. If you're taught you're not under the most high's laws, statute commandments, you're going to be what? Least in the kingdom of heaven. You're going to be the least in the kingdom of heaven. You're going to be the least in the kingdom of heaven, people. That's what they set you up for. To be what? Least in the kingdom of heaven. To be the least in the kingdom of heaven. Read. But which the Lord shall do and teach them. Whoever do and teach the laws of the Most High. Read. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So we challenge you to come forth. Don't smile at us. Just come forth and show us that what we read this world. You say we ain't under the law? You think we ain't got under the Most High's laws? Do you think we are, are we under the both sides laws or not? We got to follow what he say or not? We do. Okay, all right. But the preachers are saying that you're not under the law, you're under mercy and grace. That's what they're telling people. Right. 
and you never done heard that. And you taught that you are, are you a Jew or Gentile? Are you an Israelite or are you a Gentile? They tell you you're a Gentile, right? Let's see what I do, Gentile. Give me Gentile. First Corinthians 10, 20. You don't want to be no Gentile. He calling you something that, that you don't even want to be, man. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. Right. But I say then, second, but I say that the things which are Gentile sacrifice, they sacrifice to the devil. So now, the preacher is telling you that you do what? Sacrifice to the devil. Not to the most high, but to who? The devil. To devils. <laughs> He said, you work the devils. If you're a Gentile, they tell you that you worship devils. Right. Read. And not to the most high. And not to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. He said, you don't want you to have fellowship with devils. Read. You cannot drink the cup of the most high. You cannot drink the cup of the most high. Read. And the cup of devils. And the cup of devils. You're going to choose one or the other, man. You can't, try, try, you can't serve two masters. Right. You're going to choose one or the other. Don't let them call you no Gentile. Mm -hmm. Tell them, prove that you're a Gentile. And you know what they're going to do? They're probably going to take you, because, you know, Israel is scattered among our nations, right? They're probably going to take you, oh, that's the curse of Ham. You know? Ham was cursed. That's what probably, they're probably going to tell you. We're not from Ham. Nah. -uh. No way, sir. Another lie. Ham is a progenitor of Africans. Right. We're not African. We come from Shem. All these lies have been taught to us, man. That's why we got to break them down one at a time, man. What African came over here and said, come home? Right. Come on home, brother. You my brother. And the girls and sisters, we've been over here in the shores of America. Mandela had a chance. Yeah, Mandela had a chance. He got out of prison, came over there, gave him $90 million. How much did you reap from the $90 million? Y'all talking about Mandela, Mandela, Mandela said, I ain't giving them nothing because they're not my people. He right, said, this right. for the whole world to hear. So I'm going back to South Africa to, to help my people. Right. Because he know you ain't no Africans. Straight up. What brother then gave $90 million at one time? Right. <laughs> and didn't play no ball. Yeah. <laughs> or entertain. I mean, nobody got no $90 million at right. one time. Right, right. <laughs> at one time, come on. Right. That might have been a clown of, of Mandela. <laughs> Right, uh, take uh, take off the face, it might have been a might have been an Edomite. Right. <laughs> Cause they sure ain't gave no brothers no ninety million dollars. How how we reap any kind of benefit from it? Well we don't benefit from nobody else in the entertainment industry right. on a high level. What ghetto of slums they 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 supporting that high? With all the money that they have. Where is it at? It all exists. But they got and said, okay, do for so much. They don't want you to rise up again, because we rise up. Right, right. <laughs> we put them in the caucus of bounties. That's right. And right now, the rise up that we're going to do coming together in righteousness, though. God. It's a righteous judgment that's going to go down. You know, and no judgment come about except for, for war. For war, man. Go back to, uh, you know, verse 21. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Most High. God. And the cup of devils. You cannot drink the cup of the Most High and the cup of devils. Really? You cannot be partakers of the Most High's table. You be partakers of the Most High's table. Really? And of the table of devils. And of the table of devils. And all that, don't get it twisted. Because a lot of our people, the children of Israel, are devils too. God. Give me that, uh, first, first uh, John, the third chapter. 10 first. So don't get it twisted. Cause we know, we know about our people because we're mainly around our people. That's all I see around here mainly is Israelites. You know? You just don't know who you are. You're not no niggas, no coons, no spooks, no black people. Black is, is, a, is a color, right? Black is a color of your, of your coat, man. You ain't the same color as your coat. We, that's why, I mean, this is really simple. It don't, it don't, it, if you don't have no common sense to think about, damn, I ain't really black. Right. <laughs> we differentiate the brown, you know what I mean? But here we are, just call ourselves a color. Why? Because they say, hey, this, this who you are. Right. Somebody said, this who you are, mm -hmm. so that's who you, that's what you call yourself. Just like Toby. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> really? First John chapter 3, verse 10. And this, the children of the Most High, are met. Read it again. In this, the children of the Most High are manifest. So in this, the children of the Most High are manifest, read. And the children of the devil. And the children of the devil. Talking about us. Because we, we got some devils in our nation, too. 
Israel. But two thirds of our people ain't gonna hear this. Two thirds are gonna come back to the truth. Two thirds gonna be put to death in the in the hell fire. That's why we're trying to stop you from going there. You can take your seat on the, the mushroom cloud if you want to. One million degrees, <laughs> one million degrees spread out if you want to. We're trying to stop you from going there. Right. Read. Whosoever doeth not righteousness. Whoever does what? Not righteousness. Whoever does not do righteousness, read. Is not of the most high. Is not of the most high. Another scripture proving that the preachers are teaching you wrong. Because how do you be righteous in the eyes of the most high? Deuteronomy 28 and 1. This is how you be righteous in the most eyes of the most high. Listen to what it say. It's Deut real clear. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. This is what happened to us, brother. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass, read. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the most high, thy child. So he said, listen to, uh, listen to him, the most high, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, diligently. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. To what? All his commandments. To do what? All his commandments. To observe and to do all his commandments. That's the order. That's the law. To observe and to do all his commandments. Read. Which I command thee this day. Uh-huh. That the most high thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That's right. That's a real racist statement. <laughs> He said that we follow those laws, that the commandments, which we're doing, coming back to now as a people. The 12 tribes of Israel, those that are in the light and not in darkness. Coming back to following the laws, that the commandments of the most high. You understand me? He said he gonna do what? Set thee on high above all. He said he gonna set us on high Come on. Above all nations. Above all nations, read. Of the earth. Of the earth. Now how are you going to say he's equal to everybody? Everybody's made equal. Right. <laughs> when he told the Israelites, all we got to do is follow his commandments, and he's going to set us on high above all nations of the earth. Right. That's what he said. So how are you going to be on high? How you got next that we're talking about, and you ain't following righteousness, and follow diligently following what he say do? And they tell you you ain't got to follow him. But yet still, you want a mercy and grace. What the mercy is, what is mercy? Getting something that you don't, I mean, not getting something that you do deserve. Grace is getting something that you don't deserve. Now, you ain't gonna follow the most high rules and regulations. Y'all follow, they tell you how to follow the law of the land. That's why ain't nobody, ain't no cops around here. Ain't no cars coming by, and you still waiting until the light change to go across the street. That's our program we are. Now you think the most high gonna allow you to say, okay, well I never, I never, I never rap, I never jaywalked. That's important though, right? Because the law of the land, they tell you to follow the law of the land. And the most high gave us 613 laws to follow. Moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, and ceremonial laws. Y'all just finished celebrating pagan Christmas. When my chef got a shower, the world fought to call Jesus Christ, wasn't born on Christmas. All you gotta do is Google up Israel in the winter time. It's snowing over there, it's blizzards over there. They're going to put him in a barn, <laughs> with some, with, and put him in an uh, animal trough with some hay and some animals around him. Come on, y'all accept that? That's who you serve? That's mockery. But it's okay, because I always got a so-called white man in a in little trough. <laughs> it ain't no black, baby. <laughs> and they always showed him with burlap. Man, this dude was rich. Right. And he became poor to be like us, man. Right. right. The king of kings. Are you serious? That's why the wise men, there were not three wise men either. They just say wise men brought him what? Gifts. They brought him gold and frankincense and myrrh. Uh, uh. The best gold of Ophir. Mm. That's why when he when he when they when they when they uh crucified him, they took his robe off, man, they didn't have a seam in it. And they gonna put him in burlap. Our power. No man. That's why you've been lied to, your brain been brain dirty. And also when I say you've been brainwashed, right? You shake your head, but your brain ain't washed. Right. I gotta keep telling you that, cause you new people. Your brain been dirty, filthy, McNasty, doo doo down. Hogwashed. Hogwashed, yeah. <laughs> Just like in a in a in a hog's pen. <laughs> when, it, when you think about all the things, how we've been destroyed for lack of knowledge, what do we know? We don't even have a fear of most side no more. Mm -hmm. Y'all accepting all this wickedness that's going on in this world, man. It's set up to send you straight to hell, I'm telling y'all. Read that from the top. Deuteronomy 
chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Most High, thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. Right. This is how you be righteous. This is the only way you be righteous. To follow his commandments and have faith in the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, going to the Most High on our behalf. Really? That the Most High, thy power, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He's going to set us on high above all nations of the earth. That's how we going to get next. By coming back to the Most High and following what he says to do. His commandments. Really? And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. All these blessings going to come up on us and overtake us if we follow the commandments of the Most High. But you taught you that you don't have to follow the laws of the Most High. Really? 